Republican State Senator Leah Vukmir of Brookfield is now officially running for U.S. Senate. In a campaign video released Thursday, Vukmir said she is the only clear, consistent conservative in the race and promised to fight to change Washington. Vukmir will face businessman and Marine veteran Kevin Nicholson in the primary for the right to challenge Democratic incumbent Tammy Baldwin. State Senator Leah Vukmir joins us now on up front. Senator, it's good to have you back on the program. Thank you, Mike. Good to be here. So what do you mean by that? You're the only real conservative in the race. Well, I have a clear conservative record that everyone knows. Everyone who has followed me in politics knows that I stand up for what I believe in, what the people voted me into office to stand up for, and then I follow through on my, my promises. So I have a very clear, consistent record, and I think that's what people want in Washington. Uh, real conservative, the only one. There is another candidate in the race. Are you suggesting that Kevin Nicholson is not a real conservative? I appreciate Kevin's service to our country. I'm a military mom, mm -hmm. and I think that's... Uh, you know, something that unless you've gone through that or had a family member go through it, it's very difficult to understand. But other than that, I don't know what his record is as a conservative. You're not convinced he's a conservative? I just, I don't know what his record is. We don't know what his record is. You, you say you're proud of your record. You said you get things done. So give people a sense of what you're most proud of. As, as a state lawmaker, for instance, what, what piece of legislation, what work are you most proud of? Well, I would have to say there's something before Act 10 and something after Act 10. And prior to Act 10, when I was in the Assembly, it was lifting the cap on the Milwaukee Parental Choice Program. I'm sure you remember mm -hmm. that. Um, thousands of kids would have been pushed out of schools had we not done that. And we had a Democrat governor, Jim Doyle, and I had the privilege of leading that piece of legislation and negotiation um, along with our leadership through the process. And then, of course, Act 10, once I got into the state Senate, to be a part of that historic reform that, quite frankly, has laid the groundwork for all of the other reforms that we've been able to do leading up to Foxconn today. So I can't just hang my head on one. There are so many areas that we have worked on, policy areas, where we're actually solving problems that pe people bring to us. And that's why I'm a doer. I can't just sit back. I didn't just get elected to go to Madison, and I won't do the same in D.C. to just occupy a seat. I actually want to solve problems because that's what I'm used to doing. I'm a nurse. That's what we do. I want to talk about some of the things we're likely to hear in this campaign. In your video, you, you were critical of the, the incumbent, Tammy Baldwin. You said that uh, Senator Baldwin would rather stand with liberal Democrats and Washington elites than listen to what is important to hardworking Wisconsinites. But that was quickly followed by somebody from the state Democratic Party, Martha Lanning, the, the chairwoman, who said that you were a national leader of a billionaire's special interest group. Well, that's obviously a reference to your association, close association with ALEC, the American Legislative Exchange Council. Um, how are you going to respond to that in the course of the campaign? Sure. The left, of course, is very fearful that I am going to be the person that is taking on Tammy and that I will have a very strong campaign against her. I'm proud of my association with an organization that believes in limited government, free markets, and federalism. Anyone who knows me knows that those are the principles that got me elected. Those are the principles I used on day one when I knocked on doors. I really believe that the government closest to the people is the best government to solve the problems for the people. And we've gotten so far away from that. So we need voices in Washington that are going to say, you know what, this isn't the role of the federal government. We need to have people who are going to be strong enough and will actually do that. I'm not afraid to speak up. People know my record here in Wisconsin. You don't uh, see yourself. You, you, you're, they're going to say she is um, beholden to the special corporate interest, that this is a Koch brothers group, and she's carrying out the mission of billionaires. That's all they have to say. And if anyone really takes the time to understand what ALEC is all about, it is an organization that is, exchanges ideas with legislators across the country, Republicans and Democrats, about what's best policy. I mean, it, it is... A phenomenal organization. I'm very proud to lead that organization. So, of course, they're going to be, you know, pulling out all kinds of things because they know that I am a strong candidate, that I'm a person who stands up for what she believes in, and I actually get things done. I'm not afraid to stand up against my own leadership. Tammy Baldwin is a member of leadership, and she continues to push her leadership to the left. She's never going to stand up to Chuck Schumer or Elizabeth Warren or any of the others. I've also been able to work across the aisle, and that's something I haven't seen Tammy Baldwin do. Are, are you concerned at all? You, you, you supported Donald Trump in the presidential election. Are you concerned that, that Democrats are going to try to tie you very closely to, to Donald Trump? You know, I don't agree with everything that Donald Trump has said or done, but I do believe that um, the people of our state and across the nation 
uh, he struck a chord with them, and I still hear that today as I'm traveling around the state. So they're going to try to do anything to, to, to discredit me and, and my record, but my record stands for what it is. I'm proud of it, and I believe that Donald Trump has done some very good things for our country. I'm so grateful that he is the person that picked the uh, Supreme Court justice. And quite frankly, Foxconn, at Wisconsin being a site for Fox. Foxconn is as very much because of mm -hmm. Donald Trump suggesting it. Let's talk about Foxconn. Uh, when it comes down to a vote this coming week in the Senate, uh, what's your sense? Will there be any Republican senators who will vote against the Foxconn deal? I think at, at the end of our debate and deliberation, you, you will see strong support from it, from our, our Senate colleagues. I. I think that people recognize that this is a significant, you've heard the word more than once, Mike, transformational opportunity for the state of Wisconsin, and that the investment is going to reap billions for our state, and of course, the jobs that will be created. There are enough checks and balances in the legislation to make me comfortable to vote for it, and you know how conservative I am. So I'm very comfortable, I'm very excited about the opportunity for the state of Wisconsin, and quite frankly, the reforms that we put in place over the course of the last six years has allowed for this opportunity to, eat, to be here. One final question on this. Uh, Joint Finance uh, inserted some language that essentially says that if anybody challenges Foxconn in court, that it would go right to the state Supreme Court. That, that is a different way of doing business. First of all, are, are you and others convinced that that is indeed legal? And, and why should we be changing the legal process for one corporation. Well, I, I think we certainly looked at all, all of that as we moved forward with the legislation. I wouldn't have been comfortable with that being that language being inserted. So I think we're, we're fine with that. You think you're good with it? Mm -hmm. All right. Senator Leah Bookmere, the uh, Republican from Brookfield and now officially a U.S. Senate candidate. Thank Thanks you, very much for being with us. We Thank appreciate you. it. Coming up next on Up Front, the leadership shakeup for Assembly Democrats. And later, what a local author says is the biggest threat to the Great Lakes.